UFC Unlimited Fight Channel. All right, coming up next, a UFC featherweight division fight. There's no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's gonna try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he eyes very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. All right, now let's get you the tail of the tape for this featherweight tilt. So these fighters are just a year apart, and they both possess a similar height and reach. Now here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 139 pounds. Fighting out of Riverside, California, USA, Pantera! And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner! This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Look at the whip action that comes to Jim throwing that kick. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Nice punch lands over the top. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Back and forth we go. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Let him go. Let those hands go. Big 
Big head kick. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that offer. Under three minutes remain in round one. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Try to establish that jab. Big kick. And he landed the right hand there. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. That was a nice strike. All right, single collar tie now. Notice the drive. Look at how they drive the knee right into the midsection. Oh, big right hand, yes. Lee gets the tie clinch here. Oh, a huge block there. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch, and the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's gonna stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Push on the elbow. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. That's a single collar tie. Oh, big punch land. Oh, big kick lands flush. <laughs> Working the body with great effect here, DC. If you're the opponent, I gotta think you lower the guard at some point. You gotta lower the guard. If you lower the guard, it opens up the head. Look for the opponent to go back up top. He starts to realize his opponent's now dropping his arms. He throws the right hand there. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may float a right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. Big kick lands. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Looks a little wobbly on his feet. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, nice. Somehow stays in the fight. 
place position. Look for the opponent to try to circle off of the side of the octagon, get back to the center where he can dictate the pace and the pressure. Oh, tags him with the left, so the right hand has been there, now he goes left hand. When you're able to fight from both sides, you become really dangerous. Oh, he hurt him bad with the jab. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Ten minutes in the books. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our Here's next fight. round. High fight. number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep fight. winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Going for the head kick. He misses there. Right hook to the head block. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Lee's got the tie clinch now. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block! Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Lee gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Pretty significant result to the left side. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Just unable to quite find that range. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. He loaded up there on that high kick. Both guys landing with conviction now. pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Nice punch by Lee. Able to check that kick as well. Just misses there with the left. Caught that. Now there's danger in that too because when you start reaching down to catch that kick, here comes the high kick. And then you're in a lot of trouble. Twenty seconds now remain in the round. Slice and elbow coming around the corner. That only happens if you can gain posture control. Big kick land. Take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Effective strike there by Lee. Liver kick. 
punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Big kick land. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. Put him right down the middle. Another big leg kick land. Oh, collar tie. Big body kick land. Lands the right hand. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. And that one certainly found the target. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Misses with the left hook. Beautiful kick. Just missed with the left there. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Throwing that jab, no good. A oh, little single collar tie there. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Under two minutes to go. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Big ball punch land. Now we get back to range. Oh, well placed leg kick. Well timed, too. Spinning back fist. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Knee to the body. Flush right hand is true. All right, boy, Ty Clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy who try to break this immediately. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking behind this fight. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. Here we go, fifth and final round. Oh, connects with the one-two. Attempts the front kick there. And he caught the kick. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Pretty good right hand. Single collar tie now. What a body kick. Good punch. Lee going with the kick to the body, but unable to find the range. Whoa! Who's hurt? Serve him up. Go we'll get him. Oh, straight right. Beautifully timed and placed kick there by Lee. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Tags him with the left. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Powerful leg kick lands. Oh, nice knee to the head for him there. 
Well, he put so much stock into this fight, and now we're late in the game, and if he doesn't get a finish, this opportunity goes by the board. I mean, it's almost over. Right now, he's got to start throwing everything he can find at his opponent and hope that he can force a mistake and overwhelm his opponent to try to get a finish. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. And they separate. Back to the leg kick now, that one's no good. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Under a minute now to go in this one. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. And this dude's cashing chips. And there comes the separation now. 30 seconds now to go in the fight. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish. Whoa! could very well be the beginning of the This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. The official and decision is now in. It resides with Bruce Buffett. We go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 50-45. Played the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee. So the judges are in agreement tonight. He is your winner by unanimous decision. Certainly pretty easy fight to score, I thought. Yeah, I thought it was an easy fight to score. Whereas his opponent had a few moments, he was the one that truly did lead all the interactions. He's the person that truly did dictate if the fight was standing or on the ground. This